Mu Dynamics helps service providers quickly and safely roll out next generation IP services like Voice over IP, IMS, and IPTV to their customers by providing a powerful service analyzer designed to uncover hidden flaws that have resulted in costly downtime. The published vulnerability analysis module can be used to address some of the challenges posed by IPTV service rollouts by verifying the blocking performance of UTMs, deep inspection firewalls, and content-aware security gateways. Since IPTV deployments will rely on numerous discrete subsystems working together, such as authentication, name resolution, load balancing, billing, storage, and QoS auditing, it is critical to ensure that known vulnerability triggers are blocked effectively. For example, a failure in an unpatched SQL backend running on Windows for the authentication mechanism could undermine the stability of the billing system. A block-everything-we-can-think-of approach is not sustainable for two reasons. The attack surfaces of vital resources change with each code change, so something that needed to be blocked last year may no longer pose a real threat. The second reason is that excessive delays caused by long list checks are almost as bad a problem as the exploit being watched for. In order to produce a service that meets user quality standards while still providing a high level of reliability and security, network operators must verify that sensitive components are protected without introducing too much additional delay. By evaluating intrusion prevention systems, UTMs, and firewalls with objective reproducible metrics, vendors and operators can build next generation IP services that stand up to real world abuse while delivering consistent quality of experience. The published vulnerability analysis module within the MU Service Analyzer is a subscription update service that offers a continuously growing list of established vulnerabilities. The PVA subscription mirrors the latest real-world attacks found in the wild on the Internet. MU's PVA module is augmented on a bi-weekly basis, with the oldest vulnerabilities dating from 2002. The built-in help system provides complete documentation of each test case, as well as sample packet captures and links to online sources where updated information can be found. Vendors can use reports and vulnerability documentation to update signatures and heuristics, and operators can use the same information to research the problem and locate patches and reconfigure potentially affected systems. The MU Service Analyzer can use fragmentation to hide the vulnerability trigger pattern, allowing operators to see if the target can still block the content payload. By using fragmentation-based obfuscation techniques, we can test the target's ability to buffer, reassemble, and still discern the vulnerability trigger. This sometimes resource-intensive process provides an objective performance benchmark for comparing devices and protocol stacks. Mu uses the underlying vulnerability trigger pattern, such as a buffer overflow sequence, to cause the vulnerability itself to be triggered rather than simply replaying the traffic associated with a particular exploit payload in its entirety. This approach, coupled with various evasion techniques, validates the signature-based product's ability to detect and block root causes instead of exploits like open source or pen testing tools. A published vulnerability analysis can be run on the Muse Service Analyzer by either reloading a set of saved settings from a shareable template, or by editing one of the built-in quick start templates. IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, restarters, logging options, and specific sets of test cases can be saved and shared by email with other users to quickly reproduce results. WSDL and a remote automation interface allow the XML-based tests to be incorporated into an existing test automation framework. The operator uses two of the MU Analyzer's analysis ports to connect to both the trusted and non-trusted sides of the target. Transparent devices, routed environments including destination NAT, and IPv6 interfaces are supported in the testbed design. The device under analysis can be reconfigured between analysis runs to see how configuration changes affect the outcome of the test. During the analysis, connections are made through the target, vulnerability triggers are transmitted, and a blocking violation is flagged if the known vulnerability pattern is seen on the trusted side of the device. During the analysis, the MU can be configured to use serial, telnet, SSH, SNMP, and syslog channels to log monitor output from a variety of sources for event correlation as well as to report status information, 
run automated scripts on remote systems, and initiate debugging sessions with other systems in real time. Complex environments demand automation and our built-in help system, as well as online code forums, provide users with help integrating published vulnerability analysis, service level traffic variations, and denial of service testing with staff, Tesla, HPQC, and other common test frameworks. Now let's see how these elements work together in a real test environment. This is a technical demonstration of the published vulnerability analysis module. We will receive a template via email, import it into our local MU service analyzer, and add a test logger to the template before sending it on to another lab facility. During this walkthrough, we will focus on the user interface, the vulnerability triggers, and integration of proactive service assurance testing into an existing lab environment.